Oh, you bet, Anjana. In fact, day one, and it's all been happening already. And uh, some of it, of course, just as expected. The theme of this year's uh, event, don't forget, is coming as the back at the backdrop of all that's been happening as far as the global economic crisis is concerned. We go across to Manmeet Helen in our Davos studio, NDTV's very own studio, right there in Switzerland. Uh, good afternoon, I should say, Manvi, because it still looks pretty bright there. Though I know that that's a little bit misleading. Cold and bright. Well, I've lost track of time. I have an India watch, I have a Davos watch, and I keep them both on and I keep tracking when I need to be on as far as India time is concerned and what I need to do here in Davos. So don't ask me the time, uh, uh, Siddharth. I'm quite confused out there. We've been, we've been keeping you absolutely stretched on that. I do know that, uh, Manvi, and apologies for that. But uh, I know you have Vikram with you as well. So let's get a sense of uh, just how stressed he may be feeling right now. Okay. So Vikram's had a very busy day, but just a short while ago, we had uh, the Minister for Surface Transport and Roads, uh, Kamal Nath, right here in our NDTV studio in Davos. Uh, you know, he's been meeting investors, Vikram, yeah. selling the infrastructure story. Um, what's the upshot? Because you talk to him. Well, essentially, he's really been talking about what they're doing with the road, uh, with, with roads. And he says that it's already a quantum leap beyond anything that was happening earlier. He said, you will be quite amazed at the pace at which roads are going to start to roll out. And actually, that, he's in a sense answering the biggest question that was asked out here. All day long, every session virtually has spoken about India as a big growth story. They've also gone on to say, but what about infrastructure and what about education? So this is what Kamal Nath, uh, you know, he, he really answered that. He said, we are doing a lot. And you just watch for the next three or four months, all that is achieved. But, you know, Vikram was skeptical because doing a lot is different from planning a lot. And I think that Kamal Nath has got to get down now to, to the doing bit. Uh, the planning is in place. Uh, here's a conversation uh, between Vikram Chandra, Shweta Rajpal Kohli, and uh, the Minister for Road and Surface Transport, Kamal Nath. The way uh, the whole forum looks at India... They look at India not only because of its fundamentals, they're looking at India because of a young population, they're looking at India because of disposable incomes. And they're looking at India uh, really with their mouths open, uh, which was never the case before. And I think they are now comprehending that uh, India is uh, the place to be in. Clearly, India the place to be in, but one weak area for India, uh, Mr. Minister Nath, continues to be its infrastructure. And that's something that you've been brought in to really fix uh, an ambitious target of 20 kilometers a day. How, how much of that have we really achieved? Well, we were at about two kilometers. We are now just past 10 kilometers a day. And I said within one year, we'll do 20. So we are heading towards that. I believe that in April, uh, we'll hit it two months earlier. And when we talk of doing 20 kilometers a day, we talk of doing 7,000 kilometers a year. a year. And you talk of doing 7,000 kilometers a year. That means you're going to have 20,000 kilometers of work in progress. And when you talk of 20,000 kilometers of work in progress, you are talking of uh, $50 billion of work in progress. So it's a huge management exercise also. The ability to manage so many projects, to, the ability to manage such a scale. And... Uh, I believe that this is going to add 1.5 to 2% to our GDP. Right.